What's up guys, Sean here. So back on March 31st, on my Tuesday Night Studio Sessions live stream, um, me and the guys created a mission in Drone Link to fly over to the water tower and back. I have some very important tips when creating an autonomous flight uh, that you need to know coming up. But the mission was also a fail, so check this out. All right guys, we're going into the orbit. It's looking pretty good. Um, we missed the water tower a little bit, but uh, still a pretty cool shot. Um, yeah, everything seems to be going pretty good. There's the town of Smyrna. Uh, the words on the on the on the water tower, and uh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, we lost connection, guys. Um, yeah, we lost connection. Uh, it's every once in a while I get a little connection, but I think we're just gonna hover over here and see if it can if it gets connection and comes back. Um, but we might have to run over there and get the drone, guys. Um, man, everything was going so smooth. I don't think it's coming back, guys. So whenever you're creating an, a mission, an autonomous mission with your drone, there are several things that you need to go ahead and do ahead of time. First thing you need to do is you need to go around and measure the height of all the things you're going to be flying around. You need to know your mission. You need to know your surroundings before you create a mission. In the mission that we created on my live stream back in March, the main obstacle in that mission was a water tower. So the first thing I did was I took a manual flight over to that water tower just to measure how high it is. One thing I knew about my mission was that every altitude point um, was going to be based on the takeoff location. Okay, so it's very important that you take off from your home point and then fly up to the altitude of the highest object in your mission and make sure you know how high that is your entire flight needs to be above that that highest point okay okay guys so with that height in mind we did some math and realized that if I fly 340 feet above my backyard I am going to be completely safe no matter where I fly so with that in mind the first thing I needed to do was to set the home point so the home point is set higher than the water tower so if at any point my drone needs to come back, it's not going to run into anything. All right, guys, so here's Drone Link. This is a view of uh, the preview in Drone Link of the mission. Um, as you can see, it goes from my backyard straight over to the water tower. Um, we're going to do an orbit, and then it's going to come straight back. Um, what the preview doesn't account for is uh, the different elevations of the ground. So as you can see, that water tower over the right is flat because it was taken from a satellite from space. Um, but in reality, that hill is a little higher, the water tower is sticking up out of the ground, um, so there are some things that um, is going to be a little off. But as we come up on this orbit, I want you guys to see that um, in the live stream, we're actually pointing at the water tower. But when we get to the actual flight, uh, the water tower is not in the center. Um, so that's one th change uh, but the other change um, I just want to show you guys is we did all the math right this should have flown without a hitch the only thing I didn't um, bear in mind was the angle that I was so the water tower is a big ball of water that was between me and my drone and um, as we know radio signals and Wi-Fi signals they don't go through water very easily so yeah without further ado here's the actual flight let's do it
All right, guys, this is the part of the flight that made my heart drop out of my chest. Um, it is one of the scariest things for a drone pilot to lose connection to their bird. Um, it was just sitting there hanging out. My first thought was to let it try to finish the mission by itself, so I let it hover there. It hovered maybe for about three minutes, and then um, I was getting connection um, intermittently. Um, so I decided after a while to um, start hitting the return to home button a lot. Finally got that instruction to the drone and it started flying back. Um, but as you can see from this video, it sat there and hovered for a while. Um, I'm going to speed up the rest of the hover and uh, then we're just going to enjoy the flight back home. So check it out guys. All right, guys, that was it. Pretty decent mission, pretty cool, um, but also a little scary at the same time. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos about drone link, drones, action cameras, cameras, live streaming, all the good stuff. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.